It happened in 1972. No one really knew much about him. Most of the kids treated him like he was a joke. It's no wonder he ended up doing what he did. Fred Rush became the audio video geek, and I, I secretly adored him. Fred introduced me to the delights of strange science. In this demonstration, steel balls of various sizes are rolled down an inclined track. At the bottom of the incline, they are deflected by a magnetic field, which directs them into various compartments depending on their masses. This simple device has much in common with the mass spectrometer, instrument which separates molecules according to their masses. And because of Fred, I have to admit, I really don't believe that big oil is all that bad. This is the dream when you're young. The world, a place where love flowers and life is easy under sunny skies. The real world is something else again. The real world has things like energy companies, which find and distribute the fuel to heat and light and harvest and cook and carry and run the machines that do the world's most back-breaking and tedious work. Some say that we at the oil companies don't care enough about trying to preserve the natural purity of land and sea. Some dismiss our projects to protect and renew the environment as so much window dressing. Well, they're wrong. We at the energy companies we were all new in the springtime of our years, and we haven't forgotten it any more than you had. And we don't think it's an impossible dream. There are problems, and we are working on them. And now this month's edition of Screen News Digest. Fred even gave me my first look at Alaska, which may explain why I'm not very fond of fur seals. The fur seal, one of the world's most stupid animals. He's a robot, a creature of fixed habits, following a behavior pattern developed through countless generations. And today, the fur seal rarely learns anything new. He doesn't balance a ball on his nose or play the star-spangled banner on a row of pipes like his cousin, the performing sea lion. Oh, Fred, how could you ever know that because of you, I would end up producing educational films for a living? I wish I knew where you were now so I could say thank you. And damn you! Because of you, Fred, I've also become obsessed with acquiring all the old educational films that influence me. And unless I run out of money or room, I can't stop until my collection is complete. And so far, I've yet to find the film that will forever remind me of you. The one about the boy who carefully washed between his toes, but suffered from foot fungus when he forgot to thoroughly dry them.